Okay, so I'm going to cut right to the point. I don't think that there is a PCOS weight loss supplement out there, um, especially not in the way that we as um, consumers would think about a weight loss supplement. So I don't, I can't find any evidence of a supplement that you take that directly causes you to lose weight independent of um, any other factors. But there are a couple of supplements that have research evidence-based um, backing to support their use as a way to help you lose weight. And so we're going to talk about those two supplements today. If weight loss is your primary focus, uh, you can look to the link up above to get my tips on PCOS weight loss. That's another video. And then down below in the comments, I'll have a downloadable guide of my uh, PCOS weight loss action plan. Okay. So one supplement that I think could be particularly helpful when you're trying to lose weight is in acetylcysteine. Okay. Short is NAC, N-A-C. That is most commonly referred to as NAC. So NAC is basically a um, natural supplement that has been found to help PCOS patients reduce their insulin resistance, um, also improve fertility, especially when taking uh, fertility drugs like Clomid. Um, cholesterol, it's supposed to reduce your cholesterol, systemic inflammation, and even hirsutism in some cases. Uh, but I think that the primary way that NAC helps if you're trying to lose weight with PCOS is that it helps you with insulin resistance, which is a driving factor in PCOS weight gain. Um, NAC seems to perform as well as the prescription drug metformin at combating PCOS-related insulin resistance. And NAC and metformin can actually be taken together. Of course, you need to consult with your physician before making any of these decisions because I'm not your doctor. Uh, the, okay, so um, along with helping you be more um, insulin sensitive, which is important for losing weight, um, NAC has all of these other great um, benefits from with PCOS. The other supplement and one of my go-to core supplements when I'm working with clients is um, inositol, specifically d and myo-inositol blended in a 40 to 1 ratio. Okay, so the benefits um, that are recorded in the evidence for, um, my, for inositol in PCOS are regulated cycles, improved egg quality, improved ovulation, um, reduced risk of gestational diabetes, lower cholesterol, decreased systemic inflammation, uh, decrease in anxiety, decrease in acne, and what I think is also important to point out is an improved um, resp insulin response. So again, the reason why I'm bringing this up, this supplement up in relationship to weight loss is that it helps address insulin resistance, which is a driving factor and why it's easy to gain weight and hard to lose weight sometimes when you have PCOS. Also, it's been widely reported by um, avocetol or inositol users that um, their carb cravings are reduced. I found this to be a huge benefit of taking avocetol, which is a brand of inositol. Um, it is that it pretty much eliminated my raging carb cravings. And I've had that happen to many of my clients and I've had other PCOS practitioners tell me that they're seeing the same thing in their, in their medical or nutrition or dietetics um, practices. Okay, so back to why these aren't weight loss supplements. If you don't have the right PCOS friendly diet or weight loss um, eating plan in place, nothing's really going to happen. Um, these supplements aren't going to cause you to magically lose weight. And in fact, when you look at the studies, they do, they do tend to cause the um, people that take it to lose some weight, but it's a really modest amount, like a pound or two. So nothing compared to what you might see if you Google PCOS weight loss supplements and look at some of the marketing out there, they kind of lead you to believe some of these companies that whatever their crazy little supplement is, that it's going to help you just shed pounds. And um, that just, I have not seen a single supplement be taken by a client of mine 
or anyone in the PCOS world where all this and they're like, poof, the weight is gone. I found this weight loss supplement. So yes, supplements can help you lose weight in particular addressing insulin resistance and carb cravings. But um, no, there's no one size. It's all magical directly causes weight loss supplement. I want to also note that Avocetol can be taken while you're taking metformin as well. And Avocetol and N-acetylcysteine NAC can be taken at the same time as well. However, all three of those, those two supplements and that drug, all are um, responsible for increasing your insulin sensitivity. So if you take all of them at once, it might be overkill for you. So you really need to work with someone like your physician to figure out uh, what the right combination is for you. Um, okay, so leave your comments below if you've tried NAC or inositol and let me know um, what you thought, especially if you were one of the people that saw less carb cravings with inositol. Um, I'd like to see if anyone else had the same experience that I had. Subscribe to my channel for more real advice on how to live an awesome life, even if you do have PCOS.